My name is Patricia Wright. Who's <laughs> <laughs> good, guys? You already. Ah! Is my stomach looking? Yeah. Hey, how many more? Go back. Hey! For the video, I mean, just like chill, relax. What's good? You got ah, 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 ah. okay, just hey! Hey, what's good, this is Contest Lady, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This lady and I'm <laughs> back again with another video. I'm sure for the previous video you knew what was going on a little bit in my life, and now I'm here. And why don't I do my first collab after rebirth with? <laughs> and you might have an intro. Should I have an intro? Yeah, you should. Okay, I think because you're no, born. I have an idea. Okay, are you ready? Uh huh. Let's go, chica. I, 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 are you normal? Are you normal? Are you normal? Yeah? This is your girl, Marantia. Lady. I know you want to be like me. <laughs> anyway, so Marantia, introduce yourself. What's up, guys? It's Marantia. Nice and simple, you know. Did you miss me? Oh, wait, actually, have I never been on your channel before? You've never been on my channel before. So oh, this is the first time. So introduce shit. yourself properly. All right, hello. N nice to meet you. My full government name is Marantia Goto Williams. I'm currently 22 years old and single. Hey! Mm. All right. Hey! Okay. All right, okay. Last Let's one. Hey! We love to say it. So by the title of this video, so we put on my snap that we're about to record a video solving dilemmas. And I think Marantia has a little sense. Oh yes. So that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into I invited her to do this video with me. It was actually one of my video ideas before. Just say it, you love me. What is this? What is going on? Subscribe to her channel. So, what's yes, your channel? Please. My channel is Marantia Echo. I promise. Um, I am kind of great. Uh -huh. Are we counselors today? Yeah, we are. Okay, Definitely, I because to... I also have a lot of sense, and I think I'm gonna I take your glasses, glasses. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like this will make us smarter. Smarter. So then, when we... why is that? Everything just makes us smarter. Yeah, exactly. You know, like those Ghanaian men, they will go to a wedding and they're just wearing sheets. And they always move like that. This. place is dark. Remove those glasses. <laughs> Basically, you're going to get right into the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. There are lots of dilemmas. We haven't gone through them, so I don't even know whether maybe something will be similar or whatever is going to happen. But if you want us to do a part two, in case there's a part two, get this video to how many likes. I say get this video to 3,000 likes. Mm, that's a challenge anyway okay so there's this girl who i think has a problem with me because i think she thinks i stole her best friend into brackets a guy and we like each other but bro the guy and i are way closer than they've ever been plus we knew each other before and so she gets really mad at a guy for no reason these days and anytime she sees me she just makes things awkward meanwhile behind my back she makes it look like we have a problem. Should I confront it? Wow. Wow. Okay, first let's address the situation, then the last question. Okay. What do you think about the situation? She said that I think the girl has a problem with her, blah, 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 mm -hmm. because I think she thinks I stole her best friend. Why does she like her best friend? I don't know. 
I don't know what the situation is, Maybe but you. me, I feel like in life generally you should confront people and know the truth. Yeah. Like, but you know, some people you go and confront and you know, but I did not say, that. bitch. Yes, you did. This is how you feel. So why don't you just say it? I say that definitely confront her, but not in like an aggressive way. Yeah. Have an open open mind and be empathetic because. If you look at it from her perspective, maybe her best friend has gone and she's sad. Yeah, she's sad. You know? Yeah. And obviously jealousy sets in some extent. Exactly. It's exactly. it's actually a normal human emotion to yeah. feel jealous, especially when you have such a close connection with someone and all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay. So, but it's also not your fault. So yeah. just go to her openly and be like, I feel this way, da 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 and then if she doesn't take it the right way, it's right way. not your fault. fault. Yeah. You you still did your part. So what so. would I do if I steal your best friend? Bitch, we fight. <laughs> My best friend, no, you see me. So, friends to me mm-hmm. are like family that are not related by blood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that's how I see friendship. Mm-hmm. So, those people are dear to my heart. So, you with your skimpy dress cannot come and walk in and take my best friend. You no, know, so like the friend, if like your friend got stolen, quote unquote, you feel a type of way. Uh huh, yeah, because yeah. me, I, I, I like my person, I like my people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can have friends and all, but I am number one. Forever. Anyways. Anyways. Oh, oh, Next one is, really like this guy. He likes me too. We're really good together, but he doesn't want a relationship anytime soon. What do I do? Let me tell you something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the guy says, this is why you should just get up and run 100 meters per second. Ah, my mind. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Actually, I find it quite selfish where now we have established that we like each other. Mm-hmm. What is stopping you from being committed to only me? Yes. Uh-huh. And I also don't believe it when people make excuses like it's not the right time in my life. Yeah. Like, I think for some people it's actually true, but for most of the time it's more of a reason to keep you in their life. Yes, it's like eating your cake commit. and having it. And, hey. Because let me tell you, when you eat your cake, it's gone. But some people want to eat their cake and have it. So it's like I want you around, but I don't want you. Yeah, maybe we should take off my glasses. <laughs> yeah. So it's quite selfish mm-hmm. because you don't want to have all of me. You don't. You are not ready for all of me, mm-hmm. but you still want me. Yeah. yeah. No, baby. Yeah. You better run. Yeah. Because I cannot. Me, I can't. You see, even if I don't even want a relationship with somebody, yeah. as soon as they tell me I'm, I'm put off, like I don't mm-hmm. want a relationship with you. Hey, you have to see me. I crazy. <laughs> I think you just have to be on the same page. If both of you don't want a relationship, then fine. This one is okay. So you read this one. All right. So I had this male friend who told me he liked me by the time I was in a serious relationship. Mm-hmm. And when I broke up with my ex, my male friend forced me to be in a relationship. With forced? Me. Okay, let's emphasize on forced. Okay, let's go. Hey. And after three months of the relationship, I told him I wanted to break up. He said he doesn't want to let me go. Hey. Hey. He doesn't want to let me hey, go. Hey, I forced. But I have left him, but he keeps calling me. What should I do? This is actually very scary. I even know I have friends that have been in similar positions, mm-hmm. and it's like very controlling men. Yeah, they're the type like, how can someone tell you they want to break hey, up? By you? For, like, do you know what? I will never understand. Let's say somebody doesn't want to be with you, mm. even for like self respect, self esteem, mm. like, have some self respect that. Somebody has told you I don't want to be with you. Mm. You wanna wait there? My dear. No, but she's saying that he keeps calling. What do I do? I think and just even block him. For, but even from the beginning, forced you to be in a, a relationship. relationship. Like, why why would you ever be forced? You should have left. Yeah, you should have moment. entered. Yeah, you should not have entered if it was Because forced. how can someone force you to okay, let me tell you, I've actually been in a situation like that. Really? It wasn't forced though, but he had asked me, son, I just said, okay. <laughs> like, because I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't seeing anybody. He wasn't seeing anybody. And I liked him, but I didn't know what I wanted to be with him. When mm-hmm. I asked me, son, so I was like, okay. But let me tell you something. If you actually love the person, just let the person go. Block the person. Maybe at this point, he would find it a bit hard letting you go. But block all contact because... But this was dangerous and scary about this. It's like, if now... I'm not saying that this guy is like that, but in some situations, when she does block him and do all those things, now the guy can become aggressive. Don't yeah. you think? No, then now they're for couples. Next one. Hey, it's so hey, hey, this one you're reading. 
So, I'm in a situation where my boyfriend and I aren't like we used to be. I mean, our vibe is dying. And, hey, our vibe is dying and all. And, most, and it's mostly my fault. I just felt choked and caged in a way. I'm talking to another guy, though, but I feel safe around him. I mean, I have a vibe yeah, with him. I don't have with my boyfriend. boyfriend. I really enjoy every time I spend with him. I feel like I'm a bad person if I leave my boyfriend for him because he really hasn't done anything bad to me and i don't want to hurt his feeling so it's just like a part of me wants to be with my boyfriend because i don't want to be a bad person but the other part of me wants someone else because i really feel safe around the person okay so this one right uh -huh. i think when people talk about relationships they are so used to something bad happening and that's what ends the relationship mm -hmm. but that's not always what has to happen sometimes you simply fall out of love with someone and that's okay like as sad as it sounds you can't control it mm -hmm. so when that happens as unfortunate of a situation as it is you have to be just honest with the person but you are allowed <laughs> to leave I think this is like more accurate to the relationship experiences I've had. Yeah. I've never really had something. You dear, Charlie, I'm sorry. <laughs> but me, I've never really had something like someone did something really bad to me and I had to leave. Yeah. Thankfully, but most of the times it's situations like this, and it's like you can't really blame either party. But then obviously he has a right to be upset as well, but you also have a right to leave. Okay. What I would say about this is that. Okay. Is. Is dying now. I want you to ask yourself: Is it dying mm. because you are equally not making efforts because your attention has shifted, mm. or is dying because you genuinely do not feel the same? Mm. What, 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 what? I feel like if it's dying because you are not making an effort, mm -hmm. and you have even established that it's your fault, mm. you've been with somebody he hasn't done anything to you. He's good to you. I, yes, it's not by force to be with somebody you don't love anymore. Mm. But now we need to analyze it where is it dying because your, atten your attention is shifted mm. or is dying because you genuinely do not feel the same? Mm. Mm. Do you but whichever one the reason is, don't you still think like the reason why your attention may have shifted is because you're out of love of it? No, 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 no. It doesn't no, happen. No, it's not, I don't think it always happens. Like sometimes, haven't you like two people? No. Let's just start this shit. Why am I smiling like a ghost? I've remembered something. I've remembered something. Memories. It, like, <laughs> hey. you know, like, I've liked multiple people at the same time. Yeah. But that's if I'm not in a relationship with any of them. Yeah. But then if but I'm this in a is... relationship and then, like, my eyes wander, then Charlie, I know that I'm not really. But mm. eyes wander, not just eyes wandering, like, oh, that guy is cute. Like, eyes wander and I'm like, hmm. Then I know this one, yeah, is over. Yeah, I feel like you shouldn't be with somebody out of pity. She said, mm -hmm. would I be a bad person? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because me, okay, on this journey I'm going on, I'll explain it later, self-love, blah, 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 blah. I don't think I'll tend to make compromises for people because when you do make that compromise of saying, I want to stay, imagine the roles were reversed. Do you genuinely think he would have also made that mm -hmm. sacrifice for you so i feel like just do what your heart tells you at this point mm -hmm. like okay but make sure you're making the right decision you know, because you go and come back because mm -hmm. that's also not fair yeah that you've yeah. gone and gone and you realize okay this is not really what i really want and mm -hmm. you come back to mm -hmm. the person mm -hmm. mm -hmm. do you understand mm -hmm. have you ever been in a relationship and then your eyes wandered <laughs> only god who knows you see guys no 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 Playing something to you. <laughs> my even if there's a situation where my eyes wounded, mm -hmm. meaning my needs were not met, mm -hmm. and there are certain One is, yeah. no no yeah. listen 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 there are certain times I tend to compromise for people. Okay. In terms of emotionally, mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. but if it comes to me, they won't even blink twice. One blink, they are out. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So I feel like me with my eyes wandering is not as a result oh I feel like like hair is oh I feel like it's actual genuine reason. Maybe there is with hair, but I don't know. But if it's like my boyfriend, boyfriend did yeah. And it, it, my eyes also tend to wonder if I have constantly told you mm. that this is what I don't like and you're not changing. Mm. You see, it becomes difficult seeing a situation. I feel you. Yeah, but to be honest, I would say have a conversation with him. 
tell him this is how you feel and leave but when you leave make sure hey <laughs> you don't want him again so this one is actually interesting so there's this guy i really really love i put him through so yeah, much shit. Really so. i put him through so much shit cause him so much cause him so much pain we were dating literally recently i really embarrassed him and he and he left me but now i feel so guilty should i ask him back i really love him i don't know why i'm putting him through so much. if you really love him don't yeah. ask him back huh? Look, she says so there's a guy i really love i've put him through so much shit and then you did something and then i i don't know why i keep putting him through so much maybe there's some personal growth and development you need to go through and if you genuinely love him he shouldn't have to go through more things that you're going to put him through Aww, so, if anything, <laughs> so if anything like work on yourself and when you feel like you're ready to be good to him then have him back in your life yeah but still make him don't be selfish yeah don't be selfish, selfish because now you're gonna what were you gonna say you're gonna say yeah. <laughs> i just gonna do baby i love you come back to me that's literally what i'm gonna say but what you said makes so much sense that's actually true if you really love him work on yourself to be a better person mm -hmm. and explain to him oh i'm working on myself to be a better person for you mm -hmm. and would you like to go on that journey with me that's not bad 100 percent. yeah like i think if you really love someone right mm -hmm. sometimes if you know you're not the right person for that person the most loving thing you can do is to not be in their life yeah. so maybe you just you know need to oh. distance yourself that's true yeah, but i would also say that work on yourself be true to yourself something i feel like ladies and not even ladies human beings in, ge in general are not as self-aware mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they don't they, it's like they don't know themselves mm -hmm. before they even go and enter something mm -hmm. so now it becomes hectic so i would say be more self-aware understand yourself know what you want and analyze oh do i really want him you said you really mm -hmm. love him if you really do be better for him mm -hmm. it's not always a situation oh i should leave okay mm -hmm. fuck that like oh if i really love him let's see you can work on yourself and when you genuinely feel like you are ready you mm -hmm. can have that conversation with him when you genuinely feel like you're ready then that's true yeah okay the next one i mean this one <clears throat> i break up with my boyfriend oh. <laughs> I broke up with my boyfriend because I felt like he had too many flaws. But now I want him back so bad. The flaws haven't been fixed though. Should I ask him back? No. At all. Yes. Because it will it will make you it will make you go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what do you think are some of the reasons why people want their exes back? I think loneliness. I think loneliness, mm -hmm. I think the fact that you're comfortable with one person, person and you have yeah. to now go through a whole process with another person to now become comfortable with them. So it makes it easier to go back to people that are exes, but yeah. it doesn't mean you actually want him back. So that's yeah. the first thing you need to know. Like, do you actually want him so back? So it, it brings it bring me back to the point that people mm -hmm. are not self-aware. Mm -hmm. And for the moments, they, but they feel like, oh, I want him back, mm -hmm. back. But they don't really... Let me tell you something. I realize in life, eh? People do not like, you see the way she said, he has so many flaws. Mm -hmm. She doesn't like him. She likes the idea of him. Mm. I've done that so many times. Yes. Sometimes I like the idea of relationships more than like looking for someone. Because at the point you say the flaws are what we may be cause these, like this mm -hmm. breakup. Mm -hmm. Then sis. You don't you don't like him because when you get into somebody, you're supposed to accept their flaws. Especially if it's not a flaw where it affects you and the relationship. Yeah. Or maybe like let's say his nose is big or mm -hmm. like minor minor flaws like that you think. <laughs> what has happened to you before? Me, let me tell you something. I'm very. Someone's nose was big. You didn't. No, like but them. like the way he spoke. <laughs> like, are you hungry? <laughs> like, oh, you want some food? Hey. <laughs> No, literally, when I heard that word, fought. So you are still hungry. Do you want some fought? I said, hey, these are flaws. They are open. They are accepted. So, oh, so what's your, what are your turn offs? Is that. No, no, no. I feel like I need a guy that can speak from me. What are your turn offs? Um, <laughs> I didn't expect it to come back to me. Uh -huh. um, turn offs. 
This is a random one, but then a guy that can't like handle his liquor. Oh. You, do you know one ten or two? Like, although I find like these TikTok boys so cute, mm. but imagine like guy was on TikTok, then he was singing, um, cause you're on my dick, chill. Like when guys like obviously once like it's not like oh never get so out of control like control when you're drunk, but like it's just so unattractive for me. Yeah. Like when a guy just. Or me because I get out of control sometimes. I don't really know. No, but you see that's the thing. But so, if you come and tell me that thing because I like being taken care of. So yeah. then But if you come and tell me that do you want some fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I can't call out so <laughs> Do you know one turn of like guys that have been pampered? Oh my god, same. So you see, when they are pampered, yes. this thing they are complaining. Yes, when they are soft. Like if let's say now it's light up, how can you, you be the one crying? Hey. You have the one saying it's hey. okay, light up. Oh my god. No. no. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. I it's also one. Yeah. Like I feel like when you do that, you're not like me. Like I want to daddy. Like I want I'm come like when my man is coming, I was you speaking to daddy, like when my man is coming, like you can see that that's ladies man he's smart he's cute he's tall you know i'm allergic to short men although i have been no it's not no, that i don't no, like them no, no, i'm no. allergic no you see for me i i don't like to discriminate you know me yeah right but the only reason i cannot be with a short guy is not because of me but it just turns out that i'm seven feet tall so since i'm seven feet tall i need someone that can either be on my level or higher so then ask for that one. I don't know why God made me this. No, way. I don't discriminate too. But like No, but you you're short. So I don't know why you, you are discriminating against your own breed. But me, I'm tall. Don't be emotional. Don't be emotional. Do you need two minutes counsel? Would you need two minutes break? Don't be emotional, okay? <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. We're going to the next it's one. There's a lot of ladies things. I, I love ladies. my man. I love my man. I, I think, think you have to say it's a more like say it's like your head. I love my man. I think he's almost everything I want. I gave I gave up oh, everything. You're not, for giving, him. you're not making it nice. Uh -huh. I love my man. Hmm. I think he's almost everything I want. Hey, okay. I gave everything up for him. Parents want to meet him, but after over four years of knowing each other. He's still giving me the I'm thinking about us bullshit. Hey! Is he serious about us? He's not serious! serious. Four years! Hey! Do you know I've not even gone to school for four years? <laughs> university! A I whole to to university two. course! <laughs> F it was no, no, BA! No, 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 no. Right here? No. Oh. oh. A degree? Four years. If we enter seven years, then you don't medicine. <laughs> if you get medicine and you're saving no. lives, is it not good? If someone is in their relationship for as long as medicine so, and he's still saying oh, I'm thinking, thinking about, about it. Is, yeah. What is there to think about? Maybe he doesn't know how to think. <laughs> and if he, he doesn't, then you can't be with someone yeah. who can't think. But you see, let's look at this thing realistically. It's four years. Like she's I don't know whether she will just be able to be like, okay, so you don't want to hundred percent. We're talking from a very <laughs> yes. but like realistically, mm -hmm. the way you're even saying, I love my, my man. man. Yeah. Like, oh. He's mm -hmm. I think I just don't want but to. But I think he's almost everything I want. I think. So you cry, I'm not even sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think like you need to be sure, honey. So mm -hmm. You you have to come back again for this one because yeah. that one we don't have all the fat tests to me because you can't just walk out of a four year relationship yeah. because we don't know what it is. Me, I've never even been in a four year relationship. Mm. Have you, sister? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't take us seriously, please. We're the blind leading the blind. Hey, I'm telling you, this is a four years. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Well, yes. But you need to. I think you need to make that decision on your own. You mm -hmm. see what he does, so you should know whether he's serious about it. Yeah. So if you question that he's serious about it, mm -hmm. then 
I don't know, you need to take a step back. Yeah, keep us updated. Yeah, yeah. Next time you send your message, be like, I'm the I love my man. My man. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, we're coming up with bangers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell a friend to. Tell a friend and tell that sugar daddy and the Uncles, fathers, brothers, cats, sisters, donkey. <laughs> to like and subscribe. We'll see you in our next video. Peace. I put heels on business neck and say disrespect. You